You're watching WFLA-TV, Channel 8. It's 5 o'clock. And now, Wes Sargentson, Marissa Morris, David Grant, and Chris Thomas. This is Live at 5. Welcome back to Live at Five. If you've ever had an idea for an invention, this story's for you. Many of us have good ideas that might make millions, but how many of us see them through? In the final part of our inventor series, Newswatch 8's Elaine Fitzgerald shows us how to turn those ideas into reality. Every year, inventors dream up thousands of new products. New kinds of music unusual forms of art, or the latest technology for sea exploration and transportation. Epcot Center in Orlando is a show place for many of these inventions, but it will never be able to display them all. The U.S. Patent Office says last year alone it granted 140,000 patents for new inventions, which brings the total number of patents to nearly 5 million. The patent protects an inventor's product for 17 years, that gives him some lead time to make money on the invention before others copy it. Some patents are as simple as inventor Bill O'Keefe's pen and pencil minder. It sticks anywhere that's handy. I always thought there was, should be something more to it besides a, a, a carrying a clipboard around and trying to find a pencil. Pens and pencils snap right in. You can hear it. But this seemingly simple idea took two years to patent. No, I originally designed it a different way. It was square. But square is no good. It's hard to mold. So I had to redesign it three times. No matter how simple or complex your invention, like this telephone that lets you see the person you're speaking with. Hi, Doug. Hi, Elaine. If you want to get it patented, it must meet three basic tests. And what might those be, Elaine? Well, the Patent Office says it must be new, it must be useful, and it can't be an obvious variation of what's been done before. Douglas McDonald is a patent attorney. He searches through millions of patents to find out if someone else already patented his client's ideas. McDonald says about two-thirds of the time they have. The more likely case is that what they have developed is not exactly like what's been invented before, but may be effectively a combination of one or more things that has already been invented. Bill O'Keefe was disappointed about an idea he had for an automatic bicycle lubricating system. Great idea, right? Wrong. <laughs> uh, it was done in 1898. <laughs> so that's how uh, important the search is. If your idea is new, then you file a patent application with a complete description and diagrams of your invention. Then a patent office examiner does his own search before granting the patent. The whole process can cost between three and four thousand dollars, and that's usually the easy part. Obtaining a patent doesn't inherently put any money in your pocket. What put, puts money in your pocket is selling the invention. Anna Mazo is a store manager who sees firsthand. It takes a very small idea to make a lot of money, and they have to believe in what they're doing, or they'll never make it. If you don't, your idea will remain a fantasy until someone else thinks of it and makes their dream come true. Elaine Fitzgerald, Newswatch 8. I do enjoy those telephones where you can see the person at uh, Epcot Center. It'd be a lot that of fun to have them neat. everywhere. It yeah. would. Most of the inventors Elaine talked with in her series belong to the Tampa Bay Inventors Council. Now, it's a nonprofit club where you can get the latest information and guidance on how to make an invention work. For more information, you can call and contact the Inventors Councils in Pinellas County or in Pasco County. But when we get, do get those phones, the bill's going to go up for sure. Yeah. Five is next. Hello, I'm Michelle Merle. Good to have you with us for 530 Live. Having trouble remembering appointments? Say getting to the doctor's office. Today we're going to show you a handy calendar with a great memory. And the legend of the Central Florida Castle built to withstand an attack with bulletproof windows and secret passageways is destroyed by fire. We're going to take you there live.
And we have more free getaways to tell you about. When we file our income tax, the IRS expects us to keep accurate records. Now, a new breed of electronic gadgets can help us keep even better records. 530 Live's Bob Sekoler is back from assignment and has more on some handheld computers. And I take it you're holding one right now. That's right. You know, where can we eat and be entertained at the same time? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It, probably the answer would be dinner theaters in this memo keeper. But here we are today at Mardi Gras Dinner Theater, and uh, we're at the check-in, where we're checking in here. Now, we showed you this thing. This is a, a little sharp uh, wizard, a little gizmo here. If you have trouble keeping appointments or getting to the doctor on time or whatever, you may want to pick up one of these. This is the way many business executives plan their weeks with a weekly planner, a handwritten appointment calendar. But in this fast-paced world, many of us need something more. They are brand new, electronic memo keepers, small enough to fit in your hand or hide behind a credit card. Casio makes this data bank memo keeper priced at $40. It'll store uh, your telephone numbers, your addresses, some appointments for you, as well as it has uh, alarms and times to remind you of appointments and things like that. For $59, you can get a spell checker. You simply put in what you think your approximation of the word is, and it will correct it for you if it's not right. This English-Spanish translator is $69. You can either put in an input in English word and have the Spanish translation come out, or vice versa. Next, a portable telephone dialer for $79. The Sharp Auto Dialer will store names and telephone numbers for you, and then at the push of a button, dial the, dial the number for you automatically. What more? How about a digital diary for $109? It's got a 32K memory, and it actually works more like a mini computer as far as the scrolling features and recall. Finally, for $299, here's the top-of-the-line unit, the Sharp Wizard. A printer, by the way, is extra. It is basically a pocket-sized computer. You have additional software cards, accessories such as a printer that go along with it. And as you can see, this memo keeper here has a very important message on it, <laughs> folks. Michelle, 530 Live, watch us on Channel 6. Let's take a walk over here. This is Trisha here at the uh, check-in area. Trisha, just out of curiosity, how much does it cost for each person, whether you're a tourist or uh, local here, to get in? You a little nervous? Well, don't worry about it. It's just television. <laughs> just millions of people watching you. <laughs> Thousands of people. That's what happens to me, Bob. I get the giggles, too. It's $27.95 for uh -huh. an adult, uh -huh. and it's $19.95. <laughs> For? For a children, and it includes dinner and the show. You did great. Did you do great? She Yay. did a wonderful job. Good Hooray. job. All right. Very good. All right. We'll take you inside and show you around in there in just a few minutes, okay? Thanks, Bob. All right. Welcome back, by the way.